Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another grocery haul. Thank you for clicking on as always. In this grocery haul, you're going to see that I have three places in the haul. The first two are here on the table and they are Safeway and Harris Tita. And let's start right here with Safeway. At Safeway, the deal this week was on the Starbucks coffee. If you buy two, you can get it for $6.99 per box so I picked up a Cafe Verona and a French Roast. These are my two favorites that I always keep on hand. They also had a deal on the Canada Dry 12 ounce bottles. Uh, if you buy four of the eight packs you could get them for $4.99 a piece and that was a good deal because I used to always get them at Walmart and Walmart has gone up from $4.68 per eight pack to $6.06 so I jumped on this deal and got them because we've been without them for a while and now we have a nice supply also on the deal at Safeway these decorative cake item cake and cookie items were reduced by 75 percent so i just thought they would be fun to have in the house the sprinkles they were a dollar and 75 the food coloring was a dollar 75 this big tub of sprinkles was a dollar and 50 cents and then these little sprinkles were a dollar and 25 cents so yeah i picked those up those will be just fun to just have in the house. Now let's move on into Harris Teeter. At Harris Teeter, I picked up, I think, some really good deals. First being this pot roast. This pot roast was marked down from $21.41 to $14.99. I'm gonna have pot roast on my Easter Sunday. That's one of the meals I'm gonna have. I'm gonna do it with traditional thick gravy, carrots, potatoes, celery, onions, and seasonings, so I picked that up. The bacon on sale was uh, was on sale for three ninety nine. Then the eggs, these Eglin's Best, were buy one get one free. They were a dollar ninety nine a piece. So my daughter asked for two packs, so I'm going to take her two packs, and then we're going to keep one. I'm planning to also do some double eggs for Easter. I picked up this Carolina Crunch Bright Farms salad mix. I am going to be taking salads every day next week when school starts back up. And so uh, this was on sale for $3.50. Then I picked up the beef gravy here. This beef gravy was on sale for $1.29. I also picked up this extra meaty pork back ribs. These were on sale for buy one, get one free. And so, of course, the prices were varying. And so I picked up this one for $9.10. But, of course, it was 50% off. So $4.05 was the total on this particular slab of meat. Then these were on sale, the street tacos. I had never seen this Hawaiian, uh, sweet Hawaiian kind. That was my ice machine, by the way. The sweet Hawaiian kind. These were on sale for $1.49 each. And so what I'm thinking about is having some sauteed shrimp inside of this, some shrimp tacos. And so I can't wait to try that. I picked up two of those, and then my daughter wanted the plain kind. So those were $1.49 a piece, like I said. This is probably my best buy. For those of you who don't like mushrooms, I'm sorry. This, I absolutely love mushrooms, and this was a phenomenal price on these mushrooms. Mushrooms freeze very well, and so I couldn't resist picking these up. 
oyster. Those of you who know mushrooms know that oyster mushrooms are not cheap at all. And so can you believe for these four packs, they were 99 cents a piece. What I like to do with more oyster mushrooms is to um, put a nice coating on them and deep fry them. And they are just so, so delicious. Then these, I just love having these as well. I like sauteing them and then just cutting them up like I'm cutting up a piece of steak and eating them. They were $3.49 with this $3 coupon, making them $0.49 cents a piece, so I picked up two. Then I picked up this, these two packets just to have on hand, one of the brown gravy, it was on sale for $0.79, cents, and then the taco seasoning was on sale for $0.59, cents. so those will go in my packet drawer. Also on sale at Harris Teeter was the Nature's Own Perfectly Crafted Bread. You all know in my grocery hauls, I always pick this up when it's on sale. These were on sale, buy one, get one free. And so the total breakdown for them was $2.24 a piece. So I got my thick slice brioche style bread. This is our favorite. If you want a delicious grilled cheese, try this particular bread, a slice of Gouda, a slice of American with some good quality butter. Delicious. It cannot be beat if you eat that type of thing. It cannot be beat. All right. I've never tried the everything artisan style um, buns here. And so I picked these up. $2.24, so why not? Not sure what I'm going to do with them, but it will indeed be something. Then the last thing I picked up at Harris Teeter were these dumplings. These are pork and vegetable dumplings. They were $5.99 a piece. So yeah, everybody, everything you see here so far in my grocery haul, $86.42 from two places. And I think my next place is going to be Lidl, so hang on for that. Here is Lidl. At Lidl, I spent a total of $105.34, and you get to see all that I picked up. Let's start right here with the things that are not in my grocery budget, but I saw them and I needed them. This is a truck liner, a trunk truck liner that I really need for my um, truck. I don't want to mess up the carpeting and everything in there, so I decided to pick this up. I also picked up some cleaning gloves here. I thought these were really, really cute. It was time for me to pick up new mixing bowls. My mixing bowls I have are, you know, they're like peeling and all of that, so I'm, I'm going to throw those away, and these were on a good deal. These are absolutely magnificent, the hydrangeas. These nice big bunches were only $9.99, and I just could not resist. I parked right in front of these, and they were captivating right away. So I could not leave. So I picked up two of the containers, and I can't wait to put them on the front of the house. Now we're getting into the groceries I picked up. I picked up pie crust shells. I made a pot pie this week and I used my pie crust shells and so I wanted to replace them. These were an additional 30% off. I picked up butter, paper plates, cucumbers. Much of what you're gonna see here, I'm splitting with my daughter. I'm so excited I get to see her on campus today. So she requested that I bring her a bunch of fruits and vegetables. And so a lot of this I am splitting with her, which I'm splitting the mini cucumbers. I picked up my favorite on-the-go salad. This is the apple walnut salad with chicken. Inside it has spring mix, apples, grilled white chicken, meat, blue cheese, glazed walnuts, and dried cranberries. And this comes with a sweet onion vinaigrette. So, so good. I picked up tomatoes on the vine. I understand these last a little longer than my Roma tomatoes. Also, I picked up these blocks of cheese. I am going to shred them myself. 
uh, because you get more when you shred your own. So my favorite is Extra Sharp and Kobe Jack. So I picked up three. Also picked up Sharp Cheese Slices. Again, I love that on my burger or deli sandwich or something like that. It's really good. I've been craving some breakfast sausages. I was completely out, and so I picked up two of those at a good price. Brussels sprouts, I'm splitting these with my daughter also. Pick those up. Um, some confectioner's sugar. I have a recipe, a lemon blueberry cake recipe that I want to make, and I need to make um, icing out of the sugar here, and I just like to have it anyway. So I picked this bag up. Also, I have been craving just regular chicken nuggets for some reason. It's not hasn't always been my favorite, but I wanted to pick these up. So I got grabbed those. And then just to have in the house, another pack of brown gravy. You can't beat 39 cents. Also, a pack of mixed vegetables. Um, again, I made a pot pie from scratch and I used my mixed vegetables in the pot pie so I just wanted to replace them. They were 98 cents per bag. Picked up two bags of apples. I will be returning back to school next week and so I always like to keep apples on hand for my students so I'm going to take one bag and then my daughter and I are going to split another bag. All of this fruit is for her. I picked up one lime, one lemon, two oranges, and a bunch of bananas. I picked up the strawberries for her as well, and the blueberries, and the grapes. All of this is going to her today. And then these were interesting. Um, Lidl has these little sauces uh, for sale. The only one I did not get, they have the curry sauce, and I should have gotten that just to try. But this is the sweet and sour, the sweet chili, and the barbecue, and I will be taking half of these to my daughter as well. So again, everything you see here was $105.34. I would estimate about $40 of it is out of a different budget, not my food grocery budget. All right. Stay tuned for a meal I'm going to prepare from the hall. This is the meal that I've prepared with the items out of the grocery hall. We have here the Hawaiian street tacos and I've made shrimp tacos from them. I've sauteed some shrimp. Also from the hall, the lettuce that I bought, the spring mix. I think it was the California Crunch. That's on there. I made some fresh pico. I also added some avocado on here. My white sauce that I prepared. Also, you see those delicious dumplings. I steamed those in my rice cooker, cooked them fully through, and then I dropped them into the saute pan that the shrimp came out of to give them a little bit of color. I'm serving it also with some low-sodium soy sauce. And yeah, this is my lunch for today. Actually, mine and my husband, we're going to share this platter. And so I hope this gives you some ideas of something you can recreate or will want to create inside of your grocery meal plan or grocery haul. Stay tuned for the meal plan. Here is our menu for the week. On Monday, we're gonna have pot roast leftovers. On Tuesday, burrito bowls. Wednesday, cheesesteak subs and a salad. Thursday, we're gonna have a large cob salad. Friday, hot dogs with slaw and fries. Saturday, we will eat out. And Sunday, I have not decided what I want to prepare on Sunday, but I'm thinking it will be some type of casserole or something out of the crock pot. I haven't come up with that idea yet, but we'll see. So this is our menu for the week. I hope you have enjoyed watching the video. I hope you make a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. 
Please take away some ideas from this particular menu and the grocery haul. I hope it motivates you, inspires you to really focus on your meals. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Be well. Bye-bye. Thank you.